Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Paul Foreman, Peter Ash, and Billy Mayhew, Daniel Brocklebank, will shortly receive heartbreaking news on Coronation Street. A few weeks ago on the ITV serial, Paul spoke out to Billy about the possibility of terminating his life when the time came. Paul stated that he does not want to feel like a hostage inside his own body and believes that assisted dying is the best option for the end of his life. Paul was reminded yesterday that his motor neuron illness is gradually taking over his entire body when he noticed his speech was slurring while out at the pub. The incident caused Paul to tell Gemma, Dolly Rose Campbell, that he wanted to pre-record a message for Billy to play after his death, but when Summer, Harriet Bibby, and Billy stepped in and overheard it, they became concerned. Coming shortly, more bad news for loving Paul. During an appointment with a speech therapist, Paul and Bernie, Jane Hazelgrove, discover that it may be time for him to begin using a feeding tube in case he chokes on solid food. At home, as Billy prepares a family roast, Paul is given a bowl of pureed food to consume. Towards the conclusion of the week, the couple visits the pub to reclaim Paul's laptop. However, due to the previous night's heist, they'd realized that the device, which had the voice recordings, had been stolen by the robbers. But if Paul and Billy are unable to retrieve the laptop, what will happen to Paul and his desire to leave notes for his loved ones before dying? Vicki Myers of Coronation Street has said that the same year she was diagnosed with cancer, she also went through a difficult divorce, which put her acting career on hold. The actress, who plays DS Lisa Swain on the ITV soap, had to find a means to pay her expenses and even took a two-year hiatus from auditions to work in an office while raising her teenage daughter, Megan. Speaking about overcoming her health difficulties and terrible breakup, she said, I don't know if it's because of my previous medical experience, but I am so proud to be here and to be enjoying each day to the fullest. When my husband and I split up, I was depressed, bitter, and vengeful, and when I was told I had cancer, I remember thinking, if this is it for me, I've missed out on all this time with my daughter and I haven't really been the best person that I wanted to be. She told the mirror, the diagnosis refocused me on what is truly important and what makes me happy. Now, when I walk into work and see the Coronation Street sign, it's rather overpowering. Vicky acquired a regular deal to play D.S. Swain earlier this month and shared the news on Instagram, stating D.S. Swain is here to stay. Needless to say, I'm thrilled. Thank you for the congratulations and support. It's much appreciated. Vicky's character Lisa is currently at the center of a major plot. Corey icon Roy Cropper, David Nielsen has been targeted by cruel trolls after becoming the major suspect in the disappearance of Lauren Bolton, Kate Fitton. The cafe owner was charged with her murder after accidentally disposing of critical evidence while cleaning up the flat sublet to her by Roy's best friend Evelyn Plummer, Maureen Lippman. He'd also recently fired her from her job and was the last person to see her alive when he called to drop off her paycheck. D.S. Swain was suspicious and took him in for interrogation, wondering why he was so eager to seek her succeed in life when he barely knew her. Julie Goodyear's husband, Scott Brand, provided a heartbreaking update on the Coronation Street legend's dementia battle. Julie played Feasty Rover's return barmaid and later landlady, Bette Lynch in the ITV soap for over 25 years, with her last appearance in 2003. She married her fourth husband, Scott Brand, in 2007 and continued to appear on television, finishing eighth in Celebrity Big Brother and contributing to a number of Corey retrospectives. Scott announced in July that she had been diagnosed with dementia. Unfortunately, Julie has been suffering from forgetfulness for some time, and we have been seeking medical advice and assistance, but we now know that there is no hope of a reversal in the situation and that her condition will progressively Julie and perhaps last quickly seen publicly worsened. amongst family and close friends and hundreds of the charity's supporters at a memory walk at Manchester's Heaton Park in October, with Scott noting at the time, Julie is now living with Alzheimer's, not suffering from it, and that's a big difference. Calling these events memory walks is most appropriate. Of course, memory is one of the things most affected by this cruel disease, but Julie and I are also attempting to create more memories together. 
The Alzheimer's Society's current television commercial campaign, The Long Goodbye, focused on the anticipatory pain of knowing someone who has the condition. This led Scott to provide an update on his wife's condition. Not being able to spontaneously go out as husband and wife, holding hands as we stroll along, going for meals together and going shopping, all of these losses for me represent the long goodbye, he explained. I miss the fun-loving wife that Julie had always been, the larger-than-life personality that brightened up wherever she went, and the smile that lit up every room. All of this is slowly slipping away, and it's excruciatingly terrible for me to watch it happen. Julie now has trouble distinguishing individuals, and everyone she meets is referred to as Scott. Coronation Street legend Julie met Scott, who is 26 years her junior, in 1996 when he brought plaster to a home she was remodeling. They married in 2007, following Scott, who has remained out of the spotlight. Julie said on Piers Morgan's life stories in 2013 that he proposed to her every day for 11 years before she said yes. When asked what made her alter her mind, Julie replied, emotional blackmail. He continued, you see, if you don't marry me, I'll never marry, because I will never meet somebody who can compare to you. I answered, oh, go on then, do not try to convert it into a love story. She continued, I might renew his contract. He has truly been the finest of a rotten bunch. When asked if she was happy in her marriage, she said, very. Julie was the first housemate to enter the celebrity Big Brother house in 2012, and she and fellow housemate and former EastEnders star Cheryl Ferguson were assigned a secret assignment. They were both entrusted with creating drama in the house by following Big Brother's instructions via earpieces. Julie appeared on I'm Famous and Frightened, Celebrity Fit Club, and Big Brother. Fans of Coronation Street were upset by Dylan Wilson's departure and have begged actor Liam McChain to return to the show. Dylan fled the eponymous street earlier this week after his mother Violet, Jenny Platt, returned to the cobblestones after a 13-year absence, determined to find out why her son had gotten himself into legal problems. The kid became embroiled in a school scandal after Mason Radcliffe, Luca Tulin, urged him to bully Liam Connor, Charlie Renshaw. Mason swung a knife at poor Liam before planting it on Dylan, who was later charged with possessing the weapon. Violet was unaware of Dylan's involvement in the crime, so when she staged her cobbles homecoming, she berated scene Tully, Anthony Cotton, blaming him for their son's conduct. Dylan then exited the street with Violet, evoking emotional scenes. Liam McChain, who plays Dylan, turned to social media after the show to post a selfie with co-star Jenny, commemorating Violet's return in a special way. Fans, on the other hand, were eager to plead with him to return, horrified by the possibility of Dylan leaving Weatherfield for good. Please tell me you're coming back, you're a wonderful actor and the future of Corey, screamed one Instagram user, while another added, Liam, please don't quit Coronation Street. If you do, I'll stop watching. Wait, has Dylan officially departed the cobbles? said one fan. With star Jenny Platt thought to have filmed more than one episode, there's a chance that this isn't the conclusion of the plot just yet. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.